Good afternoon. Happy Saturday afternoon at that. It's a different time for me. So I just want to say hello and see who might be able to join us live and he'll get a chance to join or watch um, this wellness session later on. So hello everyone. If you don't know, my name is Cindy Velez Mejia, licensed massage therapist, uh, the owner of Massage Intuition with my headquarters currently being in Oklahoma City. So that's where I was trained and officially passed my licensing exam and currently I'm doing some independent contracting and private work as a massage therapist. If you've been following me, thank you. And uh, we've been doing quite a few sessions. Um, man, I can't believe we're going to be approaching a year that we might be doing these. I started these a, mo a month post the start of COVID, so April. And um, here we are again. So uh, trying to really just promote self-care and thought maybe we can get together um, on a weekend since some schedules are kind of back to normal and just talk about either questions you may have or some things that could really help with wellness. So welcome if this is your first time and those coming back to Massage Intuition Sessions, welcome back. I wanted to talk a little bit or share, um, it, unless until I see um, questions pop up and I gladly welcome those, but I just wanted to uh, give an opportunity to um, talk about We've done lots of self-care. How do I self-massage my neck, my ears, my sinuses, my back, arms, wrists, legs. We did glutes. We've done feet. We've done massage to promote sleep. And if you've missed any of these, they're all available on my YouTube. Um, also, Massage Intuition is available on Facebook and Instagram. So please follow. Um, but I have been working with clients lately. And one of the most favorable things I get feedback on is stretching. And what are the benefits um, to stretching? And it's a variety of things. If you know a little bit of my background, you'll know that a lot of my massage focus got started because of the dance community, being involved in dance workshops and dance events. And so dancers, um, like we all need self-care, but there's often repetition of movement for a dancer. And so uh, you can almost kind of guess their genre um, when you find out what body parts hurt, right? So Latin dance or an African style dance or a ballroom dance and this kind of repeated motion or position, um, you can find out. So I thought, let's talk about some stretching. I will be offering some um, sessions that you can do with a partner to show very effective stretching um, and how to be careful not to go too far, how to sense um, when your partner's kind of resistance is there. But those will be coming soon. And I thought, let's take a few moments today to go over some stretching that could be helpful. So I'm not often sitting during my sessions, but I'm sitting now because I did want to go over a couple of um, back stretches that you could do or that a partner could help you with, and some neck stretching, and then share with you what I plan to do in 2021 with Massage Intuition. So if you have any questions, please comment them away. If you can hear me well, thumbs up. If you'd like to share and invite, please do. And I'll also be posting this on my YouTube page so that others can follow later. But we can start off with um, some shoulder stretches and if you are into yoga, a lot of this is going to look similar. If you go to the gym and effectively stretch before working out, it's similar. But I thought it'd be good to take some time to focus on, okay, uh, stretching is really good for the body. What can I do for myself? So really simple. I'm just seated. You'll notice, though, that I am trying to kind of work on my posture so I'm not slouched. Okay, so I'm kind of seated, feet flatly planted. Um, on the ground, on my shoulders, and I'm going to rotate my shoulders back 
but we'll notice some things we want to avoid. So it's a simple like raise up and roll back, raise up and roll back. It's never bringing our neck down and it's not just an up and down. So it's an actual rotation, rotation, rotation. And if you could see, maybe I can lower it. You don't need to see my sign so much. My hands just hang down at my side. And they basically stay. I'm not lifting them. There's no flex in my elbow. It's just back. Rotate back. Rotate back. Rotate back. And let's do that forward. Rotate forward. Hands at my side. Rotate forward. Hi, Hema. Rotate forward. Rotate forward. Rotate forward. Excellent. All right. So that was... Back rotation, we do this a lot in dance classes before we start, and a forward rotation, okay? And now something um, that also is good, and I'll stick with self-stretching um, for now, but when we start doing our sessions with partners and how you guys can help each other, family members in the house, it would be um, perfect. A really good one is hugging yourself. So I'm going to kind of make this V, and this uh, time I did left over and then right on top. So my elbows are hanging down. Hey, Floyd, what's up? Um, my elbows are kind of hanging down right now. And what I'd like to see you do, we're going to encourage actually slouching. So I'm seated. I have this, and I'm going to actually slouch all the way over. So I'm almost as if these hands are pulling me down. And then I'm going to straighten up, but I'm going to pull my elbows as high as I can. Up, 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 and then I'm going to slouch all the way over, pull down into the gut, and then I'm going to come up, and I'm going to start to lift. My hands don't move, though. They stay on my shoulders. I'm trying to get my elbows as high up as I can. One more slouch all the way down, and then my elbows up. Point them up, 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 like I'm trying to get a shirt off, but I can't move my hands and then release and drop. So what we've just worked with those three simple stretches is shoulder, okay? And there, there can be a lot, many of you working from home and, and we know that the ideal ergonomics wasn't there in the workplace and is definitely not there when we make our dining table uh, or small office corner, <clears throat> our workplace, right? So we've did those uh, rotations to open up um, that both the joint and those muscles here and this crossover that we did where we slouched and then we lifted is also working the shoulder but you you should indeed feel it across this stance too okay so we're starting to reach um, our pec muscles and the reason I noted which arm because now if I go the opposite and do that same thing right so it's another kind of lead um, you'll stretch ooh, you'll stretch the up opposite set. So cross over one way, cross over the other way. It takes just a few minutes. Um, I'd love for those of us that work from home to do that at our desk um, before we get started. So that's shoulder. Now I've been working with a few clients that have had really serious shoulder issues and I will stand to show this one. I actually do this before I do any of my massages. So Really all you're doing <clears throat> for this stretch, I'll do it super slow motion, is just a rotation backwards. Okay, this is super slow motion. And if you can do this full circle, that's great. Some really struggle with that. And on the other side, okay? And I'd say four times slow. And now, almost like a professional softball pitcher, can we do it quicker? So a circle, two, three, Four, other side, one, two, my shoulder pop, three, four. That happens a lot to me. My shoulder pops. I don't know if anyone else has that. Uh, do you notice if you do kind of big expanse, your shoulders pop? If so, um, we are consciously or unconsciously, we tense, our shoulders tense. And even as a massage therapist, I have to constantly be aware of my body mechanics. So I'll find that I'll be massaging someone and I can like, oh, I catch myself mid glide. I'm in this position. So it's, it's, you know, massage and I need to let my shoulders drop. So if you find that your shoulders pop doing this exercise, 
then we want to try it forward. Then try to be conscious, as I swat while I do this, try to be conscious of your posture, your shoulder position through the course of the day. And guys, this can happen so quickly. You start your work day, off, you're at your desk and you're going or working from home and you're good. And then as the day goes on, stressful email, a difficult customer, timeline, something, and you don't even realize that this is happening. Yeah, and it could be one side more than another. So this is a great quick stretch. So it's those circles. One, two, three, four. Remember, we did them slow at first. If you can do them together, great. Two, three, four, forward. One, two, three, four. Are you doing it with me? Let me know if you are. Ask any questions. But if you are, just that quick session, you can feel blood flow. You can really feel the blood flowing um, from that session. So here in just a few moments, I, I think we've only been together talking for about six or seven minutes. We've done shoulder rotation. Good, Floyd, do it with me. We've done forward rotation with hands by the side. We've hugged ourselves across each time with a slouch and an elbow lift. And we did that the other way. And then we did shoulder rotations, kind of professional softball pitcher and then a forward rotation. Blood flowing and opening up um, those, those shoulders. So those are some really quick, easy things. Carving out time for ourself, self-care is not selfish, can be a real challenge. So I just encourage you, when you first sit at the desk, do that. You forget when you, your first break. Just take those five, I mean, it's five minutes out of your 15 to just get that blood flowing and adjust that. Simple things that I do a lot with my clients, also for neck rotation. Most common reasons people come for massage therapy, my neck, my shoulders, and my back are tight. So I figure let's do stretches that can help those. Neck, simple. So we're probably all familiar with, you know, being in a dance class or starting at a gym and we're dropping hopefully our ear to our shoulder on either side or we're doing um, the big circles. They work. So it's the same concept. What I focus on with my clients, if we're going to do the ear to shoulder, is that you avoid ever raising the shoulder. The concept is really, can I get the ear as close down to that shoulder. And if that means just holding this and seeing if I go a little more and hold it, see if I can go a little more. Great, never cheating, <laughs> saying did it, but allowing that to gradually work. Okay, slow back to the center and let's go with that opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. And you might find one is a little less flexible than the other. I don't seem to be getting as far on this side. And so I hold it and then I try to stretch a little bit more. And you should feel that. Like that should be very apparent stretch um, in your neck muscles. There's quite a few in there. Okay, yeah, so for me, this side needs it much more. I don't know if you're doing it with me, if you know, identified if your right or your left is stiffer. So because I feel this pull, not a hurt or a burning, but uh, like a good tension, I'll stay in this. And, and the challenge really, see how my shoulders just droop? There's none of this. They're just drooping. And I'm really trying to get this ear to reach over to this shoulder. So if you are a yoga follower, you kind of learn like that gravity center. Let the ear drop into the shoulder and you can come to the center. Now, sorry if you were following me exactly. My my right side is definitely more tense, so I spent more time, but this is self-paced, right? So if, if it was the opposite for you, spend more time leaning over um, on this side. Now, if you're willing and you're good at listening to your body, you can try this next stretch with me. So this is one of my favorite modalities or techniques with clients. When a client comes to me with a stiff neck, I can barely move it. 
or my shoulders are super stiff, I like to do what we call reciprocal resistance. And basically all I'm doing is I'm going to give the client resistance while asking them to actively be involved. For example, same exercise we did, dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. Okay, so I would ask the client to do that comfortably. Then I would come and apply a counter pressure. I'm not doing anything yet. So you would just place your hand on your ear, like no pressure, just touching it. Okay, now, I would ask the client to go ahead and try to push up against my hand, bring your head back to center position, and I'm gonna give you resistance. Now, if you're doing it for yourself, be careful that you don't start pushing before you start the resistance, right? So I'm gonna to try to get my head center, but I'm gonna keep my hand there as it's blocking it. Okay, so I'm not hurting, but there's resistance here. I'm trying, I'm not very effective, but I'm trying to get my head back to center with my hand giving a nice amount of resistance back. And we'll count down, five, four, three, two, one, and release, and I'll let the neck go on either side. If you notice something already on this side, my ear can get a little closer, okay? Reciprocal. All right, let's try it the other way. So we're gonna drop the left ear to the left shoulder, just place our hand when I say go, go ahead and try to lift your head, but allow your hand to give not dangerous, but equal resistance to prevent it from moving. And a tip, I would have to tell my clients, keep breathing when you do this. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and let's try to move that head back to the center while our hand gives resistance. Now for me, troops, since my right side hurts, this is such a good stretch. Deep breaths help oxygenate the muscles that need it. Keep pushing. And five, four, three, two, and release. Oh. oh, I can feel a release of tension there. So this is called reciprocal resistance. The reason why is that in this side, when I'm trying to work that way, I'm actually working. So I'm saying push your head right, but you're actually working the muscles to the right um, and you're elongating them getting them more oxygen but man that helps and you can always do the super big circles okay again just a few stretches just a few and those help to work on the shoulders start to open your pecs and we adjusted a little bit on the neck if you know me i love ears and helping to relieve tension and promote calmness through doing self-rubbing um, on the ears as well. Now, another common one is the back. I'm just gonna show two, and I apologize, I might have to adjust my camera a little bit. One of them, um, so I have my massage table in my spa at home, but you could really do this just at the edge of your bed. So I just threw a towel down um, at the end of my table and I'm going to go on my knees, kind of like in prayer position, if, if that's okay to say, just basically kneeling. Um, my toes are flat, so the tops of my toes are obviously down on the ground. My toes are flat. And I'm just going to kind of anchor my elbows to the bed, truly is kind of prayer position, but start to slide down as if I'm trying to get my butt to the back of my feet, to my heels. And so I'm just gliding down. Ooh, my back popped. Um, and then holding it because I don't want to lose my anchor here on the top of the massage table. So you could do this on your bed. You could do this on your sofa. And so I'm just going to hold this stretch. So I'm leaning back in like if I'm trying to sit back on my feet, but I couldn't quite get there yet because of the angle of the table. And I'm just going to roll up. So if you notice, there was no arching, there was no falling back. There was literally just in a straight position, if we wanted to call that prayer position. And now we'll do it again. My feet are about shoulder width apart, and I will just slide down as if my butt's trying to get to the heels. 
And I'll stop right about there, keep my head straight, and even arch it up and feel the stretch. You should feel this through your whole back. I'm actually feeling it more on my left side. 30 seconds and you can roll back up. I'll tell you what area of the back this should really assist with and that's going to be kind of your mid to lower back. You're not always able when you're self uh, stretching or self massage to reach those areas, but that would allow you um, to reach that area as well. So some simple, simple things I wanted to share. And I know I called it a wellness hour, <coughs> excuse me, because I would like to encourage you to take the time to invest in yourself. So if it's, I'm gonna keep working on those shoulders and I'm gonna do different types of exercises that stretch including just reaching for the sky reaching and like reaching the arms up one higher than the other because you're going to touch that ceiling those are all really effective ways to help open up but what i also would like to encourage you is i hope that if you are one that pursues massage therapy if you're not already having stretching incorporated into your sessions please ask your therapist it is such an effective way to give you probably optimal double or triple the benefit of massage. My clients um, rant and rave about how different a session feels that's just massage than one that had some stretching like we've just done. So by all means, empower yourself, tell your therapist, I'd like to get more from this session. Can we include some stretching? And so on that note, I'll share something that I'll be doing in 2021. <coughs> Quite a few clients, especially those in the dance community, have asked not only that these lives continue, that the YouTube videos that I do, and I'm also doing a massage minute with things like we've just done in these last few minutes together, but I will start doing some registered sessions, a Zoom session where I can see you, you can see me, and let's learn together some partner stretching partner massage modality techniques, questions that you may have so we can focus on a certain area. And I can see you and give feedback on ways to adjust, enhance, and make any movement or stretch or exercise even better. So those are coming really soon. Um, I will limit the number of attendees and that's predominantly so that you can get quality time. Um, so having five to 10 would be the maximum so I can see you, we can get a chance to go through the sessions together and make sure you're getting the most out of it. So that will be coming um, in the month of February and we'll see how often we go ahead and host those together. I do hope that these few stretches help you to realize small things you can do to help with the wellness of your body. So we went over simple things like seated stretching, shoulder rolls backward and forward, the embrace and the elevating of the elbows. We also um, did larger rotations for the shoulder. If it pops, conscious of your posture, release the shoulders. And then we also did a bedside, chair side, sofa side stretch. We kind of get in prayer position and sit back and allow uh, the mid back to really elongate and stretch. If you're a yoga individual, keep going forward with that because that will be really effective. Please continue to take care of yourselves. <coughs> Excuse me, reach out to me with any questions you might have. Massage Intuition on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube. And there I often do a lot of pre recorded things. So please follow that channel as well. Thank you for your continued support or for joining me for the first time. And please stay tuned. Uh, follow me so that you can get the first update of when we're going to be doing massage intuition Zoom sessions where you can get one-on-one -on -one feedback along with others and learn both self-care techniques as well as partner techniques so that you can help one another continue to feel well. This is Cindy Velez Mejia from Massage Intuition. Thank you so much for your time today. 
Have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I look forward to sharing more information. Send me all your questions, your thoughts, and your ideas. Have a great day. Thank you for your time.